the the industry is still very much so in early days, and we recognize the range of outcomes can be very wide. Um, there's opportunities for you know success and compelling returns, but at the same time, the range of outcomes can be quite wide. So how do we equip ourselves with the intelligence um, and the data that we need to ensure uh, the most successful project that we can? And this is where we come back to this source to sync um, workflow. So thinking anywhere as we start from the you know the left hand side, anywhere from the source of emissions. So thinking about um, you know point sources, who is emitting the CO2, where is it being emitted from, what sector, what does it cost to capture that CO2? Uh, moving along the value chain through the infrastructure, um, what opportunities exist today for um, using existing CO2 pipe, or what about repurposing natural gas pipe? What about twinning pipe? Or it, uh, does it require a new um, infrastructure system? And then that last piece moving along through um, that last kind of third of the, the value chain is on the storage side. Um, so how do we know where the, you know, the best places for storage are? Um, I think this is still a very, you know, early stage endeavor. And so we'll get to here, there's, you know, a fairly limited number of analogs to base um, our analysis on. So it's really important to um, apply that rigor and understand the quality of um, the storage at play, because in our opinion, that will make or break the success of a project.